Good morning. It is good to see you today. Our reading this morning comes from Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15 at verse 10, as we look at the Gospels, as we look at someone else other than the Lord in the Gospels, I wanted to look at the disciples' reaction to something that Jesus said. In Matthew chapter 15 at verse 10, he's called the multitude to himself, and he tells them, Hear and understand, not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. Then his disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Jesus didn't have a whole lot of backup in him, did he? The disciples say, Don't you know the Pharisees were offended? A lot of times when folks are offended, when we open up God's word today, you know, they will, they will come to us as we open up God's Word as though we have written God's Word, and they will say, well, how dare you say something that has offended someone else? That is the most unloving thing that you can do, that you need to be more loving than that. Or maybe they will come to us and they will say, you know, that doctrine that you're teaching, that the Bible teaches, They'll say, you know, that's awfully unpopular. Just folks don't, folks don't look at it that way today. That if you would change what you're saying, that you would probably, um, you'd probably have more followers. Or maybe they will come to us and they'll say that we need to be more tactful. That, you know, we don't need to talk about our differences within the religious world that as we look at the Lord's Church and we look at denominationalism and we don't need to talk about our differences we need to just talk about what we agree upon you might think about that the same things could have been said to the Lord that day and a lot of times what happens if we don't have our head on straight a lot of times what happens um, the Lord will tell the disciples in verse 14, Let them alone, they are blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind, lead the, if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into a ditch. A lot of times when someone else stumbles, when someone else is offended, and folks will come to us and they'll say, How dare you say something that has offended someone else? And then they in turn are offended. We need to remember what the Lord was called, because the Lord was called not only the chief cornerstone, but the Lord was also called the rock of offense. The Lord himself is called the rock of offense. And if we stumble, right, if we come to the Lord and we say, don't you know that someone else was offended at that? And a lot of times what happens is people stumble because someone else has stumbled whether it is their parents, whether it is their children, whether it is someone else. We need to make sure. Remember what the Lord said. The Lord said, hear and understand. We need to take heed how we hear. The Pharisees heard it and they stumbled. If we are going to be disciples, then we need to be disciples of Jesus and we need to hear him. And even if someone else is offended, we need to make sure that we don't stumble ourselves. Hope you enjoyed this study today. I hope you have a good day. God bless you. Be a blessing to someone else. I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Thank you for studying with us.